Well, in recent times, um, we suddenly we had a spring up of uh, Kumawood, and it was an association or a, an area or movies, uh, you know, produced in the Ashanti region, and then that caught on. I'm sure they made a lot of revenue from there. It also brought about new art, uh, new actors and actresses. Um, you know, a, a massive evolution uh, in the movie industry. But also, it had its downside, and its effect it was having right here in Accra. I don't know if we should say Gollywood. It had its effect, and probably there was a split up between the two uh, the two uh, kinds of uh, production style of movies, qualities, investments, and all. And here we are at a stalemate, and uh, both sides are actually suffering. What is your general overview of the state, the current state of Ghana movie industry? Let me start off with you, Ola Michaels. Okay, the current state is more or less um, can be compared to. <laughs> Um, I'm of the word coming. Yeah, okay, I've stopped that <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, okay. We are, we are picking up. <laughs> You're comfortable you? with that? That's, that's <laughs> wait, wait, is this to say that you were somewhere? Where are you picking up? Yeah, you we actually from? went to sleep. We went to sleep, and yeah, we went to sleep, and maybe had a bit of romance, you know, with our beds. <laughs> and now we are up knowing that there's money to be made. So What, what really we happened? Because, I mean... Um, yeah, we, we are not thinking. We actually were comfortable with what we were enjoying at that time. Because during that period, I could just shoot a, any movie with a low budget, say 20,000 cities, and I'll be able to sell about 200,000 copies. And that's about a billion that I was making. So we felt, OK, yeah, this is it. We don't need any improvement, OK? But as time went on, we realized that, oops, there's technology coming in, and we didn't plan for it. So that is what affected us. So now people are not buying what we used to sell the movies on that gave us so much money. They are doing other things. And so we struggled. That's why we went to sleep. But um, music has evolved as well. Yes. The way, the way music was before, mm -hmm. it's not like that today. Yeah. Technology's come. They embraced it. They're yeah. doing better. What do you think the movie industry didn't do? Is it that they... That apart music from the fact has that they Yes. What's, why, why is it different? See, why is music has not benefited any. Yes. Oh, really? Of course. Because previously, we were doing albums. Now we are doing singles. Why? Yes. Because we also went to sleep. So basically, it's also struggling. Yes. Of course. And How many still, people do albums? But, but I mean, I'm we sure still, there's... We, a, there's we are still consumers of our own stuff. Yeah. Right. We are still consumers of our own stuff. What he said, if Ola does a movie and can make a 250,000 Ghana city out of it, now the digital space, we did not prepare for it. We did not plan for it. We became security men around just producing, taking it to um, a, a doom or opera. opera to make the money. So we were comfortable. You yes. Say. Now, nobody thought of YouTube. Right. Nobody thought of um, Netflix. 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 Right. Yeah. Nobody, somebody just decided, wow, there are a lot of TV stations. So let's go and give our content to them. And that was this, the, the, the dumbest mistake we ever made because a TV station now compensates you for an investment. Not pay you, pay you no, no, no. for it. They compensate you for your investment. Then people started doing some things. Then we also started casting people who didn't bring creativity, but we felt have fame right. into space where you need technical people. Mm -hmm. Then the, another saddest moment was when we started putting um, unqualified people in our production. So you have the writer, the producer being the same person. You have um, the light man, makeup, and then costume person becoming the same person. So there, in terms of technical know-how and openness of um, knowledge, you are, you, 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 you are shrinked. Don't you think yeah. that it all boils down to finance, money? Because then if, if, I, if I own a company and I'm hiring, I definitely will hire a multi-taxed person. And so if this person can do both the directing and, you know, also do the director of the photography and also direct the creative part of it. You know what is funny? <laughs> Robert Rodriguez did um, El Mirachi, and mm -hmm. then uh, once upon a time in um, Mexico, yeah. he did almost everything. It was between himself, his friend, and his mom. These three people did the film. Okay. It but is not about how many tasks you take. It's about yeah. how well you do it. How yes. well you do it. The... the um, 
I mean, in most countries, there's a certain governing body that manages the the industry yes, or very, uh, various industries. So um, I'm very sure in India, there's been a there's a whole revolution with regards to movies. Indian movies are really penetrating. That's Bollywood, yeah. um, and then the likes of uh, you know the US, of course, Hollywood, and it goes on and on. What is the state of our governing body? Are there any rules, laws, legislatures lying down that are guiding us as to how to release markets, fund? The last, Along um, the way, can you remind us of these bodies? Actually? Yeah, yeah. In 2016, um, we were able to pass a law called the Film Act, Act 935, which is supposed to be that main, you know, um, law that give us that level playing field and then able to protect what we do. But not until December last year that we got the, some part of it being activated because we have to go and pick it at the ministry and make sure that they actually do what they are supposed to do because the, the tough part was passing the law. But setting up the authorities in there shouldn't be too difficult. So now we have the National Film Authority and they, they've also gone to sleep. Just from December, now they are sleeping. David Donto is the board chairman, and I can tell you for a fact, he doesn't even understand what his position is. Wow. Yeah. L and take it from me, my name is Ola. That's, he doesn't even know the law that gave him that mandate. And then Juliet Asante is the board chairman for NAFTI, and she's the CEO for National Film Authority. When she was appointed, she didn't even know the law existed. Wow. So you see. Was this based on conversations you had had with them? Yes. You know me now. At the enter. <laughs> at the enter. So, I, 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 so the thing is that we have the, the body that is supposed to oversee everything we do. Right. And also supposed to regulate your, your, uh, your content here. You understand? But they are sleeping. When you say they are sleeping, can yeah. you just go After the president, you know, um, inaugurated them or whatever they call that thing. That's it. We what don't, do, we what don't do you think might be, you don't know might be their doing. challenges? I mean, just before we jump into So if they have challenges, why are they not telling us? I mean, they, 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 they don't have challenges. challenges. Even if you have a challenge, you can start off from somewhere. Regulate what is in, in existence. I mean, all of a sudden, you can come out and say that from, let's say, 1st February, everything shown on TV has to come through us, or you need this, you need to make sure, because you don't know that law. So buy some time to appreciate the law, appreciate your strengths, and appreciate where you can go. Then also start finding ways to bring funding or get people to appreciate. One of the things we need to appreciate, and that is the biggest problem, writing. That to get people to write, to, for people to sit glued to it, for people to appreciate the content, and to be able to fuse the Tory sites to our writing. As he's sitting there, he's been reading how to make this thing work so that he can do presentations, teach people that. They need to start from somewhere. But when you believe you don't know and you are sitting down and maybe you don't have money and you are sitting down, you are waiting for a media person to bring you a camera or a recorder for you to sell your problems. Then tell them you can't do the job and get out. But I'm curious. You know that laws are made for people, not people for the law, right? So yes. If there's the demand for a certain type of content on TV, what, what does the law care anyway? You <laughs> see, let me, let me break the law down because likely enough I was part of this whole process of drafting. So you see, um, the whole idea for a film authority is to regulate anything called film right. so that it doesn't get into the, right, the wrong hands. You understand? So it is their duty to even regulate when you show certain content on TV, not to take them off but they regulate. And they cannot censor, but they can only classify. So I can say, okay, this morning show is maybe, um, let's classify this as maybe PG. You understand? Because there are no adult content. We are not speaking harsh words and stuff like that. So you have a film, I say, okay, let's make this 16. And I have realized that most TV channels do not understand these ratings. Because you can see an 18 plus boldly written on the screen and it's being shown in the afternoon. You understand? So that is their job, to regulate when you show certain contents. And the contents that you don't have license for, you don't show it. Right. So if you bring a foreign content, you should come along with a license so that they will approve and then tell you, okay, because you've got some swear words in there, let's show it at this time. That's all they are supposed to do. And they are supposed to take some money from you. And that money is for us to chop. 
When you say us, <laughs> us <laughs> it's for the industry because that's how much. We, I mean, come on, NCA does regulations and they, they, you you pay for it. FDA, which is also an authority, they do same. You pay for it. Right. So. We also do, GTA. you pay for it. That's well, how, was how recently it, it's sworn in. I'm going back to Julieta Santi and David Donter. They were recently sworn in, I mean, not well engaged. Yeah. And uh, don't you think that January is too short a time to um, expect yeah, we don't have an time. overnight and overnight? We don't have time. Uh, See, yeah. have do you know, do know to meet the people? Exactly. Do you know how much energy we exerted in making this law be passed? They were not part. I mean, they were doing their business. I was part. We spent nights and days thinking of how to let this thing work. So you understand? Do, so you can't you tell me that they have just two months already. No, 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 they no, don't. Ola, do you know persons or people that understand the law that you'd have preferred to have been, you know? No, I don't care who goes there. Okay, but the person must make a contract. The person just have to work. Years. That's all. Now, staying on demand, a few years ago, I remember that when the movie goes to, say, Opera Square, or where they used to distribute or sell these movies, the sellers say that, oh, in Chi, I should say, way on that movie, Miss Yen top. They don't buy it. We need, we need a popular face. <laughs> she said it as the, yes, we used to yeah, say it. Yeah, we are moving in my end. And so produ producers are forced to use the same face. So this is what comes back to the fact that is it the demand that is crippling people to make a certain type of movie so that even if there's a certain type of migration, the old system will not go because buying and selling doesn't change. Those people are still there. Right. All those big people you are mentioning are still there, but they are not selling. They are now even doing skits. They are doing skits. There is no unity and there is no purpose. Why? Why? He is a good writer. Okay. I can act well. We need a marketing team. Mm -hmm. We need a production team. There should be a revolving cyclone. So, Ola helps in producing my movie. As a marketing, we are helping Ola to produce his movie. We go through all the standards, go through all the regulators. Now we think outside. I told you from the beginning that we are consuming our stuff. So even your economy does not recognize you because foreign exchange and everything, you, you can't place yourself. But when we start producing and start putting it on um, digital platforms, and we are doing more, we are doing more. Because of the quality, because we don't struggle with stories, okay. because of the productivity, because of the technical know-how we have attached to it, the beauty, the look and feel, people will start appreciating it. If numbers start growing, people will place ad on it. Your ratings will go up. Right. These are good strategies. Um, we'll, be, we'll be leaving the, uh, our L side and focusing also on the, uh, the brighter side where you know, some movies have gone on to Netflix and, yes. and all. But let me also um, you know, I, I ask this. So there's a, in, if you look at football, there's been a sudden you know, uh, re-energy yeah. that's been put in there and, um, and other you know, <laughs> areas, even at the, even at the ports, you know, in various sectors, there's some energy being put there trying to sanitize the situation in there. And our movies are still, you know, uh, being crippled and facing all this um, ups and downs. What, what would be the one major solution that you'd individually want to put to this so okay, we so can make a See, the, the, the major solution for which reason we fought for NFA was the NFA. Because the NFA is the one, is that body that can even give out funds for me to shoot for anybody at all has got ideas to shoot something. Now, an industry for film, it's all about producing. Get more content out there and make sure you know how to market the content. That's all. You understand? So if you are looking for the energy, that's where it, it's supposed to come from. Now, lucky enough, um, the GTA 2 has come up with an idea to give some money to some people to shoot tourism-oriented films, just to do and start the what we call the induced film tourism. You understand? So I think it's also some part of energy that is coming up. And um, the minister also announced last year of a 10 million Ezim Bank, which I know is never going to happen, but let's just hope it happens. <laughs> oh, it, I mean, God. 10 million. Oh, is, like, oh, it's true. Ezim, the way Ezim works is different from me. Just give me a file loan, go and shoot a film and mm -hmm. come back. No, you need to show me how you're going to make the money. Yes. And we don't have it. We want to sit and uh, brainstorm on how to make money out of the monies that will be given to us. And I don't know where the document is. Well, my final question is that when you, when you cannot take music out of movie, movie out of music. Yeah. When I watch the VGMAs, when I watch three music awards from home, I see lots of uh, 
movie actors and actresses supporting. Like Lydia even said it, mm -hmm. that they support the musicians a lot. So and there's much. some sort of energy you put in there. Because then one cannot go without the other for an industry. And yet when you watch movie awards, particularly the one that uh, happens around December, yeah. right? You, the numbers are low. You, you hardly will see musicians. A, I don't a lot know of exactly misunderstandings what, between what, the various... What are they rewarding? Well... What are they rewarding? I think they should be asked. Is it not movie awards? When you know <laughs> what they are rewarding, movies. when I know what you are rewarding, <laughs> I will come there. Their songs, they come, they are popular. Okay. People know them. Right. So it attracts numbers. Tell me which film you watched that was rewarded. It is musical chess, just for popularity. People, they, they don't Still have... You? They don't, what? It's musical chess. People want popularity. They have nothing doing now. So they need space. So when you create the space, they will take it. It's the reason why they buy VIP tickets, so that cameras will be there. I am still alive. <sighs> there, there's a lot of, uh, and I was going to ask on this, uh, a lot of misunderstanding and beef between the various en entities with regards to the whole movie industry, the film Actors Guild is not sitting well with this and this. And even sometimes we hear sometimes when the... Um, there's Golden Movie Awards and there's Ghana Movie Awards and um, Fred Nemes name pops up and there's so much, I don't know whether to say, hatred, envy, disgust, criti criticisms. Like, what is causing all these um, entities from not being able to work together? Are they supposed to work together? I thought they were supposed to. No, not necessarily. See, uh, if, you, if you're organizing a film awards, you come in to us or come across as somebody who is probably doing his business but you need to let us appreciate the importance of what you are doing on the industry and you have our support. When Fredo was starting this whole thing, if he's watching, he can know and he can testify that we called him as Five Pack. When I was a, P a PRO for Five Pack in Kumasi, we had a meeting with him trying to understand really what is the brain behind this award? How do we position it so it will bring greater goods to the industry? Everything we, we recommended to you, he never did any of them. So it's not about people are not you know, supporting. It's about those that are coming up with these awards not being able to engage Open the up. industry so that they get the understanding how to position the awards. You just don't come into my farm and then pick my cattle. You understand? It doesn't work that way. You need to have a certain kind of agreement with me. So most of these people you see having issues because they are not in tandem with the industry. And the industry seems to you know, you know, excuse themselves from there. So you are doing your own thing. Go ahead and do it. But don't worry, this year we are, we are seeing a new film awards. Is it? Yeah. Tell us more about it real quickly. We have oh, just 30 seconds year. to go. Wait now. I mean, a new film. I mean, it's, it's, it's first time on Joy Pride. And, and it's, it's, it's going to be lunch on Joy Pride. This is breaking news. But it's only fair that you have said your side. We need to get the other stakeholders. Put you together exactly. and then we can discuss this. Then uh, maybe. I'm interested in I think you have water. You have water. Ajay, you know, don't worry. I do. You have enough water, enough time. Thank you so much. I'll get you. I'll get you. But I mean, I really think so. But is it going to be a new A new music? You can't say no to a lady. So what's this award? Jesus Christ. We just got to You see what you did. Okay, see, you see, this year is going to be, it's actually going to be full of film industry events. So the height of it is going to be the Ghana Film Awards. The Ghana Film Awards. And this is by the industry themselves, so not an individual coming into the industry to do it. Ah, not to make business. Aren't you, going you, to, aren't you rather going to focus on building the existing? Yes, Ghana Film Awards. Ghana Film Awards. It's, it's supposed to build the industry. And it's not just going to be a night of awards. The whole week is going to be film-related events. Yeah, this year, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, thank you. We'll come so, to you. So that at least when they come to our musical shows, we know they've ended. We must have a part two of this conversation, <laughs> definitely. Thank you so much, gentlemen. And I think that we are, we're not able to, you know, uh, exhaust every single yeah. thing uh, because there are also movies, Ghana movies that have made onto Netflix. It's an international movie platform. Yeah. And, uh, yes, being well patronized, uh, the likes of Potato, potato. I always have to take my time when I'm saying that I word. Agree. Is it yes, potato, potato, po potato, potato, potato? Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. Also on there. Um, what you mentioned, Pe I hear. Peter Sidious movies, KTK, KTK also yeah. on there, as well as Burial of Kojo, um, and uh, quite a number of side chick gang. They've all made it on there. Congratulations to the producers, and we wish them Azad. well. All right, Emma Faso. All right, so we just stop on the break quickly. When we come back, I have got a surprise for you. Don't go anywhere. I'm even surprised. I know. <laughs> <laughs>